Hi, I'm Jenny Few, aka Pimp Princess, and we are at Music Fusion. I'm Karen Cheshire, known as Kiz. My name's Kerry Bridge, and I work for Off the Record. Can you give me any personal experiences that you guys have had of extremism or, or hate? Okay. So, I'm disabled, as you can see. Um, I have had quite a lot of hate about around that, that they'll make assumptions thinking that I can do certain things or that I shouldn't be able to move my legs when I'm not, yeah, I can move them a little bit, but they think, oh, you should be completely paralysed. But it goes to the point where they say, if I was in a wheelchair, I would kill myself. Um, so they have conversations that are loud, they know that I can hear, uh, about saying about that there's, you know, there's no point of, of disabled people being alive, you know, that they're, they have no place on this earth, they're just scum, things like that. And it gets to you, it grates on you. For me, it, it brought me down and down and down to like literally a pit of depression to the point where I am myself con considering what they're saying and thinking, are they right? I, I was bullied in school about everything from where I lived, how I walked, how I talked, how I dressed. I got bullied about my granddad dying. I got bullied for trying to rap. Uh, I got bullied to the point that I attempted to take my own life. When you go through depression yourself, anything can put you down. One tiny little comment and you could be ready to take your life is as simple as that. I was waiting outside school for one of my friends and like eight or nine boys, so a massive group of them, just came out and started giving me loads of it. Just constantly just like saying stuff that is making me feel either upset or aggressive or makes me feel depressed. And it got to a point where I sat there like, I live around the corner from my school. Why can't I walk home and feel safe and like just have a peaceful walk? It's just like when you're at your home and then just from the journey to school and school, those bits are affecting you so you can't even feel safe in your own community, so kind of thing. No. Yeah. It's, it's what it is. It's the judgement. Absolutely. The constant judgement. The constant, the constant judgement, judgment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you can tell even by look sometimes. You can't obviously you can't read people's minds, but you can tell by looks that they are judging you. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it can challenge your mind to think that that's okay to do, and so you might like follow their example. So, for example, if someone's judging you, you might think, okay, well, if they're judging me, maybe it's okay for me to judge others, and I don't think that's healthy. I think what I would like to gain from this is. I want uh, the message to be about actually not judging someone without actually understanding their situation. So like, I want everyone who's bullied me without understanding what I went through, the pain I held, how much stuff I dealt with, let alone, that was just in school, let alone what I had going on at home. I just want people to understand how one word can completely destroy someone. And I want them to be more careful with what they're saying and to try to teach them to maybe not be so quick at what they are actually saying and to think about everything. True.